Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I'm so excited today because we're gonna do another review of the Too Faced Holiday Collection. We have this really adorable little bundle set with us to Jack. If you guys didn't see the haul video or you haven't heard me talk about it before, what I did basically was Too Faced, the entire brand at Ulta was 30% off. I decided to go ahead and purchase pretty much all of the eyeshadow face palette options for their holiday collection. Um, that way I could give it a good honest review before you guys are looking to purchase during the holiday season. Uh, specifically like Black Friday and around Christmas time or Hanukkah or whatever to give people presents. So if you guys have not heard about the line, they do it pretty much every year. Um, it's always specialty. Sometimes they're really, really good quality. Sometimes they are not great quality. So um, I figured I would go ahead and bite the bullet, spend a ton of money to give you guys a good insight into whether or not this season's line is worth it and which pieces are more worth it. Uh, which are less worth it. We have only tested out one other product so far. So today we're jumping into, I don't remember what this is called. I wish I did. I'm sorry. I'm very bad at remembering these names for these specialty kits, but it's basically this little snow gal. She is three pieces separated, so you can give them separately or you can give them as a full set or you can get one for yourself. Each one, I complained about the packaging because you have to like lift and then swerve um, and they're kind of like a cheaper paper, heavy cardboard feeling, but you do have a bronzer and a highlight. You have a, I'll show you guys so you can see how you have to open it. See, it's like, I'm worried I'm gonna dig my nail into it as I'm doing it every time. Um, you got a blush quad, and then you have the big, uh, the big um, eyeshadow palette with a bunch of different options there. So overall, I, it was, I think with the sale, I wound up paying like just under $30 for this one. So it was relatively inexpensive considering what you get with it. It also came with the uh, mini version of the Better Than Sex mascara, which looks like this in the big, the big version. It's one of my favorite mascaras actually. It does have a really nice workable wand. Um, so for what you paid, especially with that discount added, I feel like it's actually a pretty good deal, but whether or not the product uh, serves its purpose or does a good job, or creates a versatile eye look slash face look, we are going to determine right now. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on in to the uh, bronzer, which I'm going to use for my contour. I actually like the color a lot, it's pretty. And I recently changed my contour brush. I was using the 360 one that I picked up a while ago and I liked it, but I was finding it was putting such like a harsh and particular shaped line into my cheeks for the contour that it was really hard to blend out. So I switched to this brush and this brush has been doing a really nice job of making it a little bit more easy to blend, which is why I've been using this one more recently, just because I, uh, I like it to look a little bit more seamless than a little like harsh. Now with the blush quad, I think I'm gonna go in with Christmas Dream, which is the darkest shade up here. Um, I'm going to do that because I'm wearing like a kind of red look today and the shoes that I'm planning on putting on when I leave, uh, they've got like red and black flannel and I think this will make like a nice color for that. And that's a really nice cheek color as well. I actually am a big fan of that. Um, I complained the other palette that I reviewed had kind of a similar shape in terms of the panning for their blushes and their face products and I kind of complained. I felt like it was harder to pick up. Um, because of the awkward shape, but this one is not too much different in terms of the shape and I feel like it's picking up pretty pretty decently well. Not too bad. It might have just been the blush then with the other palette or I might have just uh, been stupid that day. Doesn't, um, who knows. I am going to blend this out a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and do our highlighter and then we'll jump into the eye look. So while I'm doing this, I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. The highlighter is a little subtle. A little bit more subtle than I like. Um, I mean, like it's there, like there's some shimmer, but it's kind of like muted. So I'm not sure I would pick the highlighter, but considering I like both the blush that I tried and the contour shade or the bronzing shade, not too disappointed if there's like one product that I'm not like loving as much as the others. So that being said, we're gonna move into an eye look. Um, because I am wearing red today, I am going to try and make it match. So there's like a pretty green, blue tealy shade that's shimmery. There's a pretty like blue shade that's shimmery. There's a pretty purple. I'm not gonna use any of those. I want to. I'm being called to use them, but I'm not going to because I wanna try and keep it like as relatively close to what I'm wearing as possible. So I think what we're probably gonna wind up doing is use Obvious Slay, which is like a kind of orangey pumpkin-y color, um, Resting Wish Face, which is like a really nice purpley pink shade, Toff Cookie, which is like a, ah, like a, really subdued mauvey red brown shade, but like a really light version of it. And um, probably fine cone for blending. And I'm thinking for the shimmer shade, we may actually use snow globe because it's a silver, blue, red glitter combo. And I think it might work really well with the, the colors that I'm choosing and the look I'm trying to create. 
so we're going to take a nice blending brush. I'm gonna go in with, we're going in with obviously, and I'm gonna do just like a nice kind of outer corner start. And I'm just tapping it. I found this is the best way to get it like full coverage in just the outer corner area. And I like it. It seems to actually have um, picked up very well on the eye. It's not really streaky. It's not really like chunky and chunky in terms of like where it applies. There's sometimes this patchiness and you might see some like skin area that's still revealed and then some areas that are darker than the others. This seems to be applying pretty um, cohesively and it seems to be doing a good job of like giving a nice even spread to all of the, all of the look. So all of the eye color, if you will. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Okay, so now we're going to go in with Rusting Wish Face. And I'm just gonna do this down here in like a tighter area. That's actually like exactly the shade of my pants that I'm wearing today. So that's a really pretty color. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, I dragged it out way too far there. That's fine. That's why we have concealer because I'm gonna use that in a minute. So gonna go back in now with, I'm actually, I changed my mind. I think Toff Cookie is gonna be a little too dark. So I'm gonna use Crumb Luck, which is like a light pink shade to blend in here. I've gotta say these colors seem to be really workable. Um, shockingly so, like I said, I've had some bad experiences in the past with the holiday collection just cause I feel like maybe they rush it and they don't take the time to quality control and perfect the formula as much as they possibly could. But this one seems to be doing a very nice job of just um, applying smoothly, blending out. The colors seem to be pretty true to what they are in the pan, which is another complaint a lot of times with palettes that are not as great as you would like them to be. And I'm now gonna take Cookie Butter, which is like a really light shade, and just blend like all the way up to my brow bone. Try and make that color a little bit more muted in some areas particularly on this side where I feel like it's just gotten a little bit darker than I was hoping it would. So I went ahead and did my cut crease and I am gonna use this snow globe shade in the shimmer. I'm gonna do it with a brush. It may be, it's kind of like a loose glitter, so it may not work as well as I'm hoping, but it's right now on the brush, it's coming up kind of like butter and I'm very excited to see. I'm hoping it does what I'm hoping it will. <gasps> that's so pretty. See, that's kind of what I was hoping it would do. It's like, that. it is because it's that chunky glitter, so there's a little bit of like, um, where you can still see under it, but I like it a lot, actually. I'm a big fan. I will say, Nikki made a comment about the fallout. We had to stop the camera, um, and before we restarted it, he made a comment. It looks like there's a lot of fallout. I actually do not see it on my end. I don't see a lot of fallout on my face. Um, I don't see a ton of fallout on the pan. There's like a little bit with some of the shades, but it's really not bad. Um, this loose glitter shade is probably the worst for that, but that's about average for a loose glitter shade because you're going to have fallout because it's loose glitter. So it's like literally just chunks of glitter that are coming up. That's beautiful though. That packed on actually incredibly well. Yeah, I'm shocked at how much I'm actually really enjoying the eye look I've been able to create just really quickly with this, um, with this palette. So I would say, honestly, if I had to pick between the two palettes, the star-shaped one that we already have reviewed, but I would choose this one, I think, because it's, I like... Not that I didn't like the other one. The other one was fine. This one is just a lot better, I think, in terms of everything. Honestly, in terms of all of it, I really like the face colors and stuff better. It was a little bit less expensive. It does have that nice option if you wanted to separate it and give it to multiple people. You can do it with this one where the other one is a full set. And yeah, I'm just really, I'm really digging this loose glitter shade. I'm not gonna lie. This is just like really working a lot better than I was anticipating it would. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Um, I am going to do uh, my under eye really quick, and I'm going to use Resting Wish Face for that. And then we'll go ahead after I do this and do our mascara and see what it looked like. I would say the only thing I was not impressed with in this whole kit would be the highlighter shade. It's not great. I would probably not use it. I might use it as like a brow highlight if I wanted something really neutral. Um, and that might make it a pretty kind of look. But overall, like if I'm like, oh, I wanna do a highlight, I'm not gonna choose that again ever, to be honest. Um, just because it's like, I can barely see it on my face. I'm assuming you guys can really not even tell it's on in the, yeah. If you're a fan of neutral highlighters, that's not my aesthetic, you guys know this by now. I'm the, I go for like the Lime Crime and the really vibrant ABH palettes and the highlighters that are like, even if they're a neutral shade are gonna like pop and this is, this ain't popping. Okay, so uh, the camera battery died. So I went ahead and finished up the uh, mascara because I figured you guys didn't really care about watching that anyway. Um, and then I took off my headband so you guys can kind of see like what the full look is gonna look like as I'm out. Um, just for reference, if you wanna see my pants, this is what they look like. They're like a nice burgundy maroony shade. And I think my eyes look pretty good with them. Um, I'm a big fan of it. 
the palette and the collection itself, I would say this is way better than, I really wish I could remember what the other one was. It's like a star shape. I don't remember what this one is either. It's a snow girl lady and uh, it's all separated and then you can like build it and make a little snowman and then look like the magnets attach and you can kind of like roll them. It's cool. It's cool. Um, but I like this one a lot. I like the other one too. I just like this one better. So if I had to limit myself and decide what I was going to buy, I would pick this one over that one. I would not have ever guessed that when I was looking at the collections online or even when I received them in the mail and I opened them up and I was like playing with them before I started like testing the makeup. I would have been like, uh, I probably could have avoided buying this particular scent because it's like whatever. Um, and I would have picked out the other one instead. And I'm glad I did not do that because I actually genuinely like this. And there is something nice about they're also tiny and stackable. The other one is super bulky. Um, so this one I think would be easier if you're traveling for the holidays and you wanted to like throw it into a bag. You essentially can make a full face makeup look. I would bring another highlighter if you want a highlight that says somewhat decent. But other than that, I would like this uh, and I would, I would recommend it. I would say this is probably one of their better um, pieces in this particular collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's for me personally, it's kind of a weird time for Too Faced because the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star video came out and a lot of stuff came out about Too Faced. Um, and it made me question. I don't know how I feel right now. Um, I know I'm offended for the parties that were affected by Too Faced's decisions. Um, but yeah, I did want to throw that out there because I almost told Nikki that I didn't want to review the palettes. But since I've purchased them and I will give you an unbiased opinion without having all of the political aspect of it in there. Um, but yeah, I did want to throw that catalyst out there because that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, but I do like this collection a lot. So if you guys uh, have not yet subscribed, I'd said it earlier, but please, 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 please subscribe. You're so close to hitting 100 as we're filming this. I'm hoping it's going to be past 100 by the time it posts. But still, subscribe because then we're on our way to 1,000. So like, just become part of our family. We're cool. We're fun. We have interesting conversations sometimes. Normally off camera because I'm worried about offending people. But um, yeah, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.